responsible for you when you sleep. You sleep the eight hours that you're sleeping. Who's doing your physical functioning? Who's pumping your heart? Who's delivering oxygen to the cells? Who's working on your digestion? Who's in control of your brain activities? Who's in control of your sleep pattern when you're sleeping? Who's running the world? Who's turning the night today and the day tonight? Are you in control of that? Are you doing that when you're sleeping? Are you in control of all these operations? Have you ever thought about it? Have you ever questioned that? If I don't have free will, which I don't, thank God, then I'm one with that. I'm one with God. I'm one with existence. Existence has brought me into this life. Existence is responsible for my education, for my well-being, for my shelter, for food, for money, for transportation, for my education. That which has brought me into this world is responsible for all of these things. And I can relax into that. And that same thing reveals itself in my heart because now I'm not dealing with the mind. So there is no duality. I don't have to deal with this mind process. So I can relax into here. Because life is going to do whatever it wants to do. And I'm not afraid because I'm completely protected by that which brought me into this life. And it's going to carry me. If I'm supposed to fall in love with someone and have a long-term long relationship, the same force will put me together. How many times you try to hook up with somebody? How much of your time you spend trying to find your love, your partner? You're trying to manifest it and it doesn't happen. It's not happening. Or it's happening and when it's happening is short term and then it dis disappears. Well, you just relax. You relax into the being that you are, into this. And as you're relaxing into this, revelation happens. The invisible mystical source of life that's operating through you begins to reveals itself it shows itself to you and you start to see wow this infinite intelligence operating and it's operating through me and everyone else and it's showing itself it's showing its power it's showing its grace to you and then you start to see the flow of life, how things come and how things go. And you begin to be really centered and one pointedness because as this thing's turning around you, it's like it's turning. You're in the center of it and everything is turning around you. Everything is turning 
and you're not invested on these things that are coming and going. You're not so much hanging out on things come and go. Because they're temporarily and they're not, there's no permanence to them. Because you're the only one who becomes permanent because you're not a person, you are that. So you're centered here. You're not moving. And everything is moving, you begin to see it's not real. Because then you are the only real thing. That which doesn't come and that which doesn't go. And that's I am. Everything else appears and disappears. You begin to see it's not real. The only way you're going to, to realize that this world, including this body, this mind, none of them real and none of them really exist, the only way, it's not a mental agreement, mental understanding. You have to understand it yourself as a realization, not by mentally brainwashing yourself and repeating it like a parrot. You have to recognize that. The only way you can recognize that this world is not real. So then you're not even, you're not considering it and you're not afraid of it anymore. And you become free from it is by recognizing that which inside yourself, which never changes. So you have brought your attention on that which doesn't change. And the more you connect to it, the more you recognize that which doesn't change, then everything else that's changing begins to show you that it's an illusion. It's not real. Anything that is changing means the entire world, everyone, everything, everything you see, everything you touch, everything you're in contact with is not real. 